welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday, so happy Monday. Um, it's actually the Easter weekend coming up, so we have like a four day week this week and next week, which, you know, now that I'm self-employed, the Easter break is not as good. It doesn't slap as much as it used to when I used to be office based, because usually I'd book the Thursday and the Tuesday off, so I'd get three day weeks either side. But anyway, alas. We move. So today I'm going to be filming. I'm going to make my quick tea. I'm going to share uh, that recipe with you. It's nothing crazy, but I just love to make it like on days where I'm going to be basically tied up for a little while. Um, so that's what I'm going to make. I have two hauls that I'm going to film today. I've got a mesh key one, which is going to be, I think, short and sweet, the mesh key one, to be honest. And then I have a huge H&M haul, shock. It's actually going to be one of two H&M hauls, I think, because I've got yeah, basically I'm doing like larger spring hauls just to get you guys in the mood for spring just so you guys can see what some of these pieces look like on and I can hopefully, fingers crossed, help you guys make some decisions about what bits to pick up and hopefully you guys can help me decide what to keep. So anyway, let me make this tea. It's actually fairly simple. I'm going to move you guys down and boil the kettle. Oh, this feels very soft. I don't know about that. Oh, I'll just use it. Let's see. Here's what you're going to add. You're going to add half a lemon. To be honest, you can add more lemon. I'm just being a little bit tight. I did take some of the seeds out, but obviously some of them remain. So it is what it is. Um, as my mum says, it's not going to kill you. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm trying to get that last one out. It doesn't want to come out. So that's my half a lemon. Then I go ahead and I add a healthy amount of fresh mint. I do love a good amount of mint. It's one of my faves. I've got pretty much a whole orange because I have a few oranges here and they seem like they're going to go out of date soon. Usually I would add actual ginger but I don't seem to have any so um, I'm just gonna add this is the extra strength moju one so I'm just gonna add two shots and then this is very random a cinnamon stick I don't know why they're so tight with these cinnamon sticks like first of all they're kind of difficult to find in the shops and second of all when you do find them there's two friggin things in this just two like what that's kind of rude. I don't know, how, can you break this without it crumbling? I don't think you can. Anyway, we're just gonna add one whole stick. Yay, one more left. <laughs> and literally, that's it. I add my water and I'm done. Insulated lid, which keeps it warm a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna top it up with more water we're done my tea done i've got a glass already that had my green thing in this morning let me grab it one thing about me is i'm not doing all this washing up washing up washing up if i use it this morning i'm going to use it again it's still the morning <laughs> so it's even got my spoon in it so should let this steep a little bit longer all right tea's done it's time to get on and film now i'm going to do my meshki try section first then my h&m try section first and then I guess it doesn't really matter which order I do like the talking part. Um, this battery is low. This is the camera that I use to film my cutaways. So I'm gonna sign off this part of the vlog here now and I'll probably catch you guys back up maybe a bit later, maybe tomorrow. I have two events. We have a shoe event and then we have a mint velvet event or it could be the other way around. But obviously you guys will be with me for that. So yep, I'm gonna get on and film and I'll speak to you guys in a sec. Second dress I actually really, really love. When it came, I was pleasantly surprised. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another mesh Hello, hello, I need to fix my hair, but I'm in the lift and I'm on my way up to the shoe event. So let's have a little look around to see what they've got.
so many bits and bobs that I haven't tried. I've definitely tried their sock pack and their hand pack, but I've never tried any of these. So this is like their version of Barocca. They have loads and loads of tablets, which I didn't know that they had. Um, a deodorant foot spray, blister plasters. This is a really good vitamin E range. This is a hydrating mist. They have bronzing drops, vitamin D, which I take often actually, I've got a spray one as well. Um, a day cream, light day cream, uh, caffeine and glucose like energy tablets. They have this lip oil, which looks lovely. They have a setting mist, zinc oxide tape, which you know, if you're in the gym, <laughs> these things always, always come in handy. Or if you're traveling and you need like a little first aid, like that comes in handy. The blister blasters come in handy. So, so many great little pieces. This is what was in the Superdrug PR goodie bag. Oh, I think I missed these out. These are eye drops. Um, so yeah, so many good little bits and bobs. I'm definitely gonna check out more of their own brand stuff because they seem to have like a huge amount of stuff that they've added to it. <laughs> I am leaving at two to go to the H&M showroom again, which is why I have this smile on my face. If you guys know me, I love H&M and I love the showroom and yeah, it's just a seamless kind of like visit for me just because I always find so many nice pieces on H&M and I think particularly for spring and summer, they're really outdoing themselves. Funnily enough, before I go, I have another huge H&M haul on the rail that I need to film beforehand because like I said, they've got really nice spring summer pieces and I already did one haul, which is a little bit more sort of like neutrals and like your everyday pieces. Um, but then this one is also still that, but it has like really great pops of color and just things that are maybe like slightly different to like what I would ordinarily pick out. So as I said, 12.30, I'm leaving at two. The appointment is at three. I mean, I'm leaving myself with like way way loads of time to be honest it's definitely not taking me an hour to get there but um yeah i don't want to be rushing around and being late the weather terrible um so <laughs> i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear and i also need to eat my stomach is rumbling but um i thought i'd jump in and say hello to you guys because i haven't actually spoken to you properly much sorry my stomach is rumbling I haven't spoken to you guys properly much on the vlog um this time around i'm still trying to play around with the vlog style some of them i want to be a little bit more longer some of them might be a bit shorter who knows but some of them might be more visual less talking so we'll just play it by ear but i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far and if you are please don't forget the thumbs ups it really really helps me out let me give you a sneak peek of the row i'm just thinking if this second H&M spring haul is going to be up by the time this video is up. It may or may not be, but let me give you guys in any event a sneak peek. So before I film, this is typically what I will do. I will order everything and once it gets here, I'll unbox it all and I'll put it on hangers and I'll put it in the route and then I'll do the try on section first on the camera that I'm vlogging with right now. Um, but I usually hang these up in order before the order gets here. I make the description links um, and I also put them in the order of how I'm going to be trying them on. With this particular haul, as I said, because I've got a few um, staples and whites, I decided to put all of those together because also I picked out four white or cream dresses and I will not be keeping all four because some of them were really expensive. Like this one was £85, which to be honest, I think it's probably worth every penny without me even trying it on. I can probably say that. But Anyway, we'll see in the try on. So those are the four white dresses. Then this is like my little pop of color. So I've got my green pop of color. This dress I think is really pretty. And then this is my other pop of color. Then, I don't know if I spoke to you guys. I didn't speak to you guys after the Mint Velvet event, but they did gift me a shirt, which they embroidered and put my initials on. So um, I'm actually gonna wear this underneath the denim boiler suit if it will fit because I, I ordered this in a small I should have maybe done the medium but anyway here we are um, and then I have this really cute little co-ward number I have another co-ward number and then I have this outfit which is slightly different to what I would ordinarily go for but I just saw the bag and I was like I mm, have to try this out so um yeah this is the H&M haul it's all ready to go on the rail 
And as I said, what I usually do is I usually basically move this rail to just underneath the TV, film the try on part on this camera. That way when I'm talking to you guys, I already have tried it on and I know like what the pros and cons are, whether I like it, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, the weather is really terrible. Like it's absolutely pissing down, which is so, so sad. But it is April, April showers. So I'm gonna have a chicken bagel, which is so random. My battery died. So I'm gonna have a chicken bagel, which is very random, but I went for a roast on Sunday. I'm sorry, my stomach keeps rumbling. I went for a roast on Sunday and there was like leftover chicken. So I just took it home and now I'm gonna make it into like a bagel filling. I had it yesterday, it was really, really nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna film the try on part. Hopefully I'll have time to film the talking part, but I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna eat first put on a YouTube video to keep me company and I will catch you guys when we're on our way to the showroom. I'm so excited, I'm so, so excited. Okay, bye. <laughs> for this part because I did try on some pieces at the H&M showroom. First up was this jacket from the Rock Collaboration. I really love this jacket. I cannot wait for it to come out. Next up, I tried on this dress. It, was, it wasn't it was in my size, but it was still quite a nice piece. But if you guys are up to date with my H&M hauls, you guys saw already, I picked out four cream dresses. I didn't need another one, but thought I'd try it on anyway, just for those colder spring days. Next up, I picked out this floral, sort of like embroidered mini dress. Next up was this one. The buttons were so fiddly, I just, I couldn't. And I was like, I know I won't do them up. I think it would be nice as like a beach cover up though. So there was that one. And then the next dress I loved, I really loved the collar detail. Um, I thought it was really nice, kind of like, Edwardian <laughs> Victorian style perfect little spring summer dress also comes with a slip underneath and I just wanted to show you guys how it looked if you wanted to style it with jeans and that was it <laughs> whenever I go like for a quick little shop. I got grapes, uh, these yogurts, these strawberry yogurts. These are like the 
good for the gut ones. Um, what's the name brand? I feel like it's the known active. This is obviously like the little version. They have mango chunks in there now. They never used to. Mango chunks, by the way, are very expensive. I feel like this was the most expensive thing out of this entire haul. Let me just check. I think it is, you know. Oh no, the strawberries were. That's because I've got so many. Mango chunks are too powerful. Oh, it's not so bad. Anyway, then I have my caramelized onion hummus, my oat milk. This I picked up because I usually buy like the stirring, but this was really, really cheap. I think it's like, how much? It's 69p. And the thing is, if I make a pasta sauce from scratch, I always prefer how that tastes. Um, I just don't always have tomatoes in. So I thought, let me just get this. This is the onion and garlic passata, um, 12 eggs, bananas, and then a huge packet of strawberries. And that is my very quick little little breakfast. I <laughs> burnt my bagel uh, by accident because I got caught in the bathroom cleaning. <laughs> so I have half bagel, I have some peppers that are left over in the fridge along with some spring onion. So I just did a scrambled egg um, with those. And then I also randomly have some spicy taco sauce on the side. Sometimes I'll have a bit of ketchup um, and sometimes I have avocado, but I forgot to buy those in my little little shop this morning. So this is my breakfast. I'm trying to have um, a bigger breakfast today because I've got quite a few events on and I don't want to be out on the road hungry. So. This is what I have, I have my mint tea, and yeah, this is my little <laughs> bun bun breakfast. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. I'm heading out to three events today, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. You guys didn't miss much. I've just been vlogging little bits here and there, as I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog on Friday, I wanna say. Um, the weather outside is absolutely terrible. <laughs> I'm just looking at it as I was speaking to you guys, wondering if it's even worth bringing a brolly. You know, and it's just so windy, it's just like, is there any point? So I've just kept my headband on. I've put my hair in a bun. I'll take it down once I get to the first event, but um, it's so windy outside that I just don't want it like going everywhere and you know, whatever. So um, very casual outfit for the start. This is my, I think on the website, it's a, yeah, I think on the website it's a jacket. It's from Karen Minnan. I'll link it for you guys. It's on sale. I think it's half price, which is really handy. I'm wearing these Zara jeans, which I I think I mentioned in a previous vlog. I was like this close to giving to my sister. And I was like, hang on a minute. If they can fit, <laughs> you might as well keep them. Because my other jeans have got like a rip in them. And um, yeah, like I said, the weather's not quite there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you into the bedroom. I'm going to quickly do my fragrance before I forget. This outfit is very, very, very casual. But honestly, the weather... It's terrible. I really want to be able to tuck this top underneath down so you can't see it. And also this jacket is so fluffy that it basically um, gets fluff all over the top underneath. So once you wear it, you kind of like just have to wear it zipped up. Um, fragrance, the one that I just picked up is Commodity Velvet. I was just like, let's just go for the first one I pick up. I'm not gonna set mix, usually I set mix, but um, yeah, this is the look. I'm gonna just carry my little Teddy Blake bag wondering if I should wear like another jacket on top of this but this is really warm and I'm wearing my um Uniqlo vest on underneath so no let's stick with this we're going to Space NK first then we're going to Dove and then we've got a little break in between and then we're going to go to number seven I've never been to a number seven event I've actually never been to a Dove event either um and I love all of these brands so I'm really excited I feel a little bit um tired today so if i if i sound quiet or like yeah that's why i feel like um although i slept i didn't really sleep i don't know if anybody else has this where it feels as though my brain is still thinking or on while i'm asleep so you wake up and you feel like rested but you're not fully rested and i think that's what it is i'm coming up to like um a year from leaving my full-time job and um it's just so crazy. It's kind of gone past really fast, but then really slow at the same time. Um, and I always said I'd give myself a year and then I would like play it by ear and then make, you know, movements. And I think that's why my brain is like thinking while it should be asleep. So this evening I'm definitely gonna take my ashwagandha. But anyway, let's get out on the road. I'm already rambling, but um, yeah, this is what the vlog's for. Yeah, the vlog is for a little random ramble, but yeah, let's get out on the road.
shine like nothing else now. This morning was terrible weather, but I mean, I'm back home. I thought I'd have a like a bigger gap between the dub event and the number seven event, but it turns out that I'll probably only have like half an hour or 40 minutes or so. So I'm gonna have a prawn sandwich and a cup of tea which is so random. I'm gonna film a t like a couple of TikToks really, really quickly because I wanted to share like, if I'm away for like a couple of days, this is what's in my beauty bag, this is what's in my skincare bag. So um, I wanna film that really, really quickly and then decide what I wanna wear to this number seven event. Um, so yeah, that was, that's a quick little update, just me checking in. I've been doing vertical content today as well. Um, both events were really good. So the Space NK one was open to the public as well. And I think that's important to mention because some of the events that I go to, they're not all like just solely for content creators. Some of them are um, open to the general public. And before I even really started to create content, because I had, you know, a natural love for like fashion and beauty and things like that. Like, you know, when you're on news airs and things like that, that's how you're made aware of like new, openings and stuff um so yeah that store in kingston is so lovely it's definitely a lot further than what i anticipated um much further but if you live in that area um what like wimbledon surbiton i want to say norbiton i don't know i don't know i'm not from that far but if you live in that area that kingston store is lovely like we have a lot of stores like in central or near central that store is beautiful it goes all the way back it, I mean maybe because it's just brand new but like it, it felt like I was in heaven it was such a beautiful store they also gave me a goodie bag which maybe I think the lighting's a bit too bright in here so I'll go into the bedroom and I'll share with you guys what's in the goodie bag I'm also going to share that on TikTok as well but um I think maybe you guys might want to see um the Dove event was amazing the thing with Dove and they're such a great brand like they always focus on body positivity and the whole talk was just surrounding AI and how that affects beauty standards um and it was just really interesting to hear the panel um jessie j had some really amazing points she was basically sort of saying to the ai uh girls on the panel like how do you see this you know being a positive in this industry and you know how do you see it really you know making a positive change so it was a really insightful conversation and really insightful talk yeah just makes you it's like a thought provoking isn't it everything is ai these days really isn't it so and it's only going to grow so it's just yeah really thought provoking which i expected from dove so it was a really great event i had a really great time listening to the panelists so yeah i'm going to boil the kettle and i'll go into my room i'll share with you guys what we got in the goodie bag and we're going to go to the number seven event sorry excuse the hair like i said earlier was yeah, <laughs> it was not great weather. The line's a bit dodgy, but I thought I'd do a very quick unboxing of what I got at the Space NK launch. They kindly gave me a really amazing goodie bag. So let's have a little look. First up is my <laughs> reduced sandwich <laughs> from M&S, which is obviously not in the goodie bag. Let's kick off with fragrances. I was given the Floral Street Wonderland Peony, Peony? Uh, scent so I can never ever pronounce that next up is the Juliet has a gun which I did actually spray in the store and sample it smelled really I can't remember which one I sprayed though but this one is the Moscow Mule one next up we have a couple of pieces from Coco and Eve I've heard so much about their hair masks so I'm really excited to give this a try and they've also popped in here like a little mini tangle teaser which would be great to fit in your handbag because as you can tell I was looking a little bit windswept earlier. Last couple of pieces now, Bioma. I've never tried Bioma. I feel like I'm really late to the party. This is the Milky Oil Cleanser. Really excited to give this a go. I'm also really excited about this. This is the Milk Hydro Drip. It's not the primer and it's not Hydro Drip, it's Hydro Grip. <laughs> but it's the Grip Set and Refresh Spray, which I, yeah, really excited. On a day like today when I'm gonna run back out to another event, this might come in, ooh, oh, I love their packaging. How beautiful is their packaging? It's so lovely. Okay, so that's that. Then I have a KP body scrub and mask from Naturium. I have been saying Naturium for like, since it came out basically, but it's Naturium. <laughs> I'm really excited to try this. I used to use the First Day Beauty one. That one worked really, really well. I haven't replaced it in a really long time. So I'll give this a try and let you guys know. Um, Osteo is a really great brand. I've got the violet water i think it's called i want to say that's what that's what it's called this is the clarity enhancing nutri serum bring back your best complexion with a delicate cooling water serum that sounds great oh for a bright balanced and glass like complexion 
I think everybody loves glass skin. I have this Medicaid, which is the Hydra 8 B5 Intense. This is a hyaluronic acid. Um, I, I really love Medicaid. I love their SPF. Um, I have one of their retinols, which I'm yet to use because I like to be a little bit slow when introducing like, I think it's an active, that's what it's called. So yeah, I have that too. Then we have this palette from Laura Mercier. Sorry, this is such a long unboxing. Love Laura Mercier. I particularly love the body Laura Mercier products. I think they're amazing. They're creams, they're shower gels. I think they're 10 out of 10. Um, but here's what the, oh, that's lovely. Here's what the eyeshadow palette looks like inside. I think that's beautiful. I think that's a great one for taking away. You've got everything you need in there. Next up, I have this Coco and Eve Antioxidant Face Tanning Micro Mist, naturally tan, so I can find somebody of fair skin to give that to. Um, this is a really great oil. It's the Elemis Superfood uh, Facial Oil. <laughs> It's really, really good. I just um, gave my mum one of these the other day. She's probably not using it, but um, yeah, this is a really, really great oil. I think I see a lot of people like derma planning with it. Is that the right term? I think it is, but yeah, I love this oil. It's it's amazing. I'm gonna use it to like do gua sha. Well, the last thing is technically the tote bag, which obviously like my jumper has got fur all over, um, but the last thing is the Live and Proof Full Shampoo. I'm a huge fan of Live and Proof. I love their curly range on my natural hair, but I just, even their frizz free range, their, their, their stuff is really, really nice. I cannot ever fault Live and Proof. Like it is, it is a really great brand. So, oh, signature smell. But yeah, thank you to Space NK. I really appreciate it. And I'll let you guys know how I get along with these goodies. So you guys, I just filmed this unboxing for TikTok, so I did it vertically, but I'm just gonna throw it into this vlog vertically because I realized it's a huge um, goodie bag. So for me to film it twice would have taken me a little while. Um, so yeah, I just hope you guys don't mind that I entered it vertically. Let's smell this. Oh, this packaging is really cool. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna recycle it, but um, did it have a lid or am I being dense? That is the lid. Wow, okay. Um, I'm really in interested to see. I have quite a few perfumes on now. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. It's floral, but it's also quite sweet. Like it smells like there's some vanilla in here. Oh, wow, that's really nice. I didn't expect, wow, okay, that's beautiful. I'm just throwing the recycling on the floor. Um, the flat is gonna smell like a perfumery, if that's the right word. Um, this is the Juliet Has a Gun Moscow Mule. Ross, I nearly dropped this thing, you know. This is really great packaging as well. Really cool. Okay, here's what the bottle looks like. Lovely little bottle, I think that would look lovely on my Oh wow, I'm right behind because honestly, this is, is this a perfume, not, mm, yeah it is. This is really strong, really much stronger than what I thought. This is really nice too. This is a unisex fragrance, I believe. So yeah, this, these two, oh, the packaging. These two, I cannot wait to add them into the rotation. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I can recycle. The milk one I can recycle. Superfood facial oil I can recycle. Um, and also this brush is so handy. So you guys that watched, oh yeah, this is really handy to have in your handbag. Look how much hair, look how much hair came out and like dust and fur from this coat. Um, you guys know if you've watched my home reno vlogs, I basically have like a little walk-in and I have a little drawer there, which is where I like store bits and bobs like new PR. Let me show you actually. So obviously this is my little walk-in. It's not very neat and tidy currently, um, but this extra space has given me like so much more room to play with. So this is like my little drawer, which is usually filled with like new PR that I want to test and film and record with. Um, and then also I'll have in here like my hygiene hand gels, my little hand cream, like the things that I grab when I'm running out to put in my handbag. So like hand creams. I also have, um, how cute is this by the way? They put my name on this. I just, I just honestly, like I hardly spray it now because it's got my name on it and I don't want it to run out, but I could 
obviously just keep it and refill it but anyway um i also have like my little body mists in here as well because when i get ready for the gym i don't wear perfume but i'll wear like this mist or this is really old this is my bath and body works cashmere glow the body shop ones these are really really nice they're really underrated um and then there's just like other random things in here like <laughs> dry shampoo um so yeah when i'm like running out this shouldn't really be in here to be honest um but yeah when i'm running out i'll go in this drawer so what i'm thinking and then also this is where i grab like my earrings i've got too much jewelry at the minute so it looks a little bit untidy <laughs> um, but yeah this is what i was thinking i would throw that little hairbrush into so that no matter what bag i have i can just grab a little hairbrush um i usually have like a little lip oil in here which I love the Clarins ones, they're so good. Um, and then I was recently sent some CeraVe stuff, so I'm gonna try that out. To be honest, I can take these out of the box. Actually, no, I'll leave them in the box, but I typically like try to get all the recycling together because the recycling really adds up. Um, so yeah, I sent some bits from them, and then I have like lip balms in here. This L'Occitane one is stunning stuff, to be honest. So yeah, this is my little junk. I don't want to call it a junk drawer because it's kind of an organised mess. Like, I have tissues in here. This is what I should have put in my handbag earlier instead I had to run into a coffee shop to grab a tissue. But yeah, this is what's in here. I have like a little notepad, which I'm going to take tomorrow actually because I have a strategy meeting with my management. So I'm going to take this with me. Um, so yeah, that's my little random surprise drawer. I don't even really have time to sit down, you know. I may have just boiled the kettle for no reason. That's a bit sad, you know, because I need to leave. Yeah, I need to leave in like 10 minutes. No, I'm still gonna have my cup of tea quickly, get changed, get my recycling together. Um, and yeah, catch you guys on the road in a sec, I guess. <laughs> Hello you guys. I feel like I've been a little bit flaky on the vlog because I'm gonna be so honest. I have been, so tired the last few days so i left you guys last on tuesday tuesday i had a few events so you guys came with me to the space nk in kingston um space nk in kingston was a public event so i always feel a little bit funny about like getting my cap because everyone's like shopping it's half term people are like there with their mums and stuff like that there's like younger children there and stuff so i don't want to like have the camera in their face as much when you're at an influencer event and it's just like for content creators or influencers obviously everybody is working so everybody is taking or filming content so i didn't get too too much of the space nk event but the store beautiful like it's very far from where i live but if i lived anywhere near there like that i would be there all the time because it's such a beautiful store space nk is just like one of like my ultimate favorite brands. They carry so many of my favorite brands in the store. So that was great. Then I came back, rushed to the Dove event. Dove event was great. They had a panel talk, very interesting, very insightful. Um, some scary statistics surrounding AI and beauty standards and all of that sort of thing. And yeah, it's just interesting to sit down and hear about it. And it's really great to hear Dove's perspective on it because obviously Dove, as you guys probably know, like have a very firm stance on like non AI or computer generated distorted images. They like use real women, real bodies, real skin, real everything. And I think in this day and age, that's just like um, something for them to be really proud of. And I do wish more brands would do that. Um, so that was that. Then I had a number seven event. I thought I'd have a big gap between boots um between dove and number seven but i didn't i ended up having like 10 minutes to like come in and like get going i don't know if, i feel like maybe i explained this to you guys already but i'm not too sure anyway went there um me and sammy went to that i did intend to vlog because yeah i bought my camera but the battery in it died and then the spare battery that i had packed was dead so the math wasn't mathing couldn't vlog that um i did get little clips on my tiktok so following me there then you'll see it and then that was so that was tuesday yesterday had a bit of a crazy day because I had, first of all, I had to have a call with my accountant, which just, I don't know, like, it always unnerves me. I don't know why, like, it's fine in the end, like, it's always fine. But it's just, like, having to get, make sure everything's in order and stuff like that. So, anyway, in all that to say, I'm very grateful for my accountant because, yeah, they, they look after all that stuff. So, had that in the morning. Then I went to my nail tech because she had a spare appointment. So, I swapped my appointment because I was supposed to be going tomorrow. Um... I had literally seven minutes to get ready, like fully get ready. Then I had to run to my management for a strategy meeting. And then I had a Tatcha event, which was like 
five minutes from where my management are. So that was great. The Tatra event was great. I did just film a review on TikTok of the new silk, silk sunscreen, SPF 50. And then they also have these new lip tints, which are SPF 25. I think this is 65 pounds. <laughs> It's 50 mil, I think this is 65 pounds. It's a mineral sunscreen. Yeah, the review is up. You guys will see the review on TikTok. I am also wearing one of these lip tints. I'm wearing the one in, I don't know where it is. That's interesting. There's three. Where's the one I'm wearing? Oh, it's there. Why is it in the other drawer? Okay, cool. This one is Plum Blossom. These are, yeah, they're cute. The thing is when price points are high like that, I like to make sure I do reviews because Obviously, I was lucky enough to be gifted these at the event, but if I didn't, I still love Tatra, so I would have wanted to see a review online on someone that looks like me or my, like my skin tone to make the decision as to whether I need to buy, like, there's three, I don't need all three, which is the best one, like, which one is the best one that's going to suit me, so I hope, my TikTok is like my smaller platform, but I still hope that these reviews help people because, yeah, things are expensive and... I mean this. Anyway, you guys will see the review on my TikTok. Slightly rushing now. I have my Miss Pap dress hanging up. The weather's been terrible. I've just felt incredibly drained, incredibly tired. I've only trained twice this week. It's Thursday. I only did Monday and Tuesday. Usually by now I've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I didn't go yesterday because to be fair, my spin, my spin instructor wasn't there. It's going to be somebody else and I don't fuck with cover. And today I just, my body... Like, I think I was telling you guys, I'm not sleeping properly, properly, right? My body just feels so tired. So I gave myself grace yesterday and today. Tomorrow we've got to pick back up. <laughs> I'm going to have to train Friday, Saturday and Sunday now. But yeah, that's tomorrow's problem. I'm heading out to a Kills pop-up event now, which, um, yeah, I'm going to take you guys along. I'm actually going to put a spare battery in my bag now. Hopefully all is well for the spare battery this time. Um, I'm gonna get dressed. I'll chat to you guys on the road. Then I'm gonna meet Sammy. We're gonna meet um, a friend that we made in New York. She's in London. So we're gonna meet up with her and her friends for sushi. I love sushi. So yeah, we're gonna meet up. We're gonna have sushi. We're gonna go to Sticks and Sushi. The one in Shoreditch. I've never been to that one. I've only been to the one in Covent Garden. So should be interesting. I always go past it. It always looks really good. Um, and I love sushi. I really love sushi. So that's where we're gonna go. Let me get dressed. I'll give you an outfit of the day, possibly at the event because we gotta go. Actually, before we do go, I did get my H&M order in. So, oh my gosh, I probably need to end this vlog because I think this vlog is really long. But basically, when you guys saw me go to the H&M showroom, there wasn't a lot there for me to pick from. So he was like, just send me um, some selects and I'll post them out to you. So what I did is I actually ended up picking out stuff from the website that I had already like hauled in previous H&M hauls. Basically return and get my money back. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So like, for instance, I had already bought this and I had decided to keep it. It's a set and it comes with this skirt, which I think I wanna wear now, actually. I just changed my mind. But anyway, um, I bought this and then I also bought this pink one in a previous haul and decided I wanna keep it. And so when he was like, yeah, I'll gift you some bits. I was like, let me just return them, get the money <laughs> and get them gifted because I already know that I love them and I wanted to keep them. They didn't have any of these, they didn't have any of these white dresses that I'd hauled recently um online or in the showroom so i'm still they're on the rail because i still need to figure out which ones i'm keeping because they were all a little bit more on the expensive side like this one was 75 i want to say so anyway that's what came in from h&m i did also pick this out which to be fair i haven't actually um hauled this is really cheap though i think this is like 15 pounds it's like a flounce detail black ruffle shirt and they also have it in white it's from the divided range um i'm really I'm pretty sure it's like 15 pounds. But anyway, let me, oh, I've got an itchy eye. Let me get out here and I'll chat to you guys on the road.
coming in to end the vlog here. It's Friday. Um, and this morning I went to the 456 skin event, which you guys probably saw little clips of. Excuse the wardrobe. I need to go through the, the wardrobe. Maybe that will be in the next video because I definitely have a lot of stuff. And I need to maybe do that this spring switch over spring summer don't know how that's gonna go um but yeah i went to the event had a really really good time and learned a lot about skin i mean 456 skin i did have the opportunity to work with them when they first launched in the uk about four years ago and it was on the channel um and so i had done a lot of research into that brand anyway because typically if i'm going to work for a brand i'll research them back to front to really see if it fits with me and then therefore if it fits with you guys obviously it's difficult to know exactly what you guys like but i feel like we like the same stuff so yeah it was just really cool to kind of like see how much they'd grown and see how many like new products they'd added to the roster and stuff like that so yeah the event was really really good but i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching please please bear with me while i try to find my feet with the vlog in because i'm in this position where i am like in terms of social media like i'm out and about at different events a lot of the time but the thing with these events is that they are work events so you do need to speak to other people you do need to network and like build your community and things like that so i sometimes feel like i struggle to remember to bring the camera out to bring you guys along yeah please bear with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up my insta is raquel.saw my tiktok is raquel.saw make sure you're following me on all the things Thank you guys, please bear with me and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.